Tomorrow marks a new day in college athletics here in Kentucky with Governor Bashir's name, image and likeness executive order taking effect. Dennis Ting is following the newest developments and what it means for schools and athletes. Dennis. Well, Shay, the NCAA Division I Board of Directors just voted to approve a policy concerning name, image, and likeness as first reported by The Athletic. Now, this comes the day before several states, including Kentucky, prepare to usher in a new age where college athletes can profit off their fame. This is going to be trial and error. There's going to be things that occur. We're going to read about things, maybe mistakes and some opportunities that occur. More than 20 states have already passed laws concerning name, image, and likeness rules, and several states, including Kentucky, have legislation taking effect Thursday. Those school administrators say there will be a learning curve. The actual policies and rules of the game are still maturing. We're trying to figure out what the NCAA might arrive at with their proposals or a temporary solution, whether there's a federal solution. There are rules. Student athletes cannot get NIL compensation for enrolling at a school, and compensation cannot be given solely based off athletic performance. Players must also disclose their NIL activities to their schools. The University of Louisville, the University of Kentucky, Western Kentucky University, and other schools are offering courses and clinics for students and have entered partnerships with platforms to help student athletes navigate these uncharted waters. We'd like to thank the governor and the NCAA for letting this pass because as college students, it's hard for us out here. We can't have a job, but the name is like this should be helpful. Now student athletes will be able to profit off their celebrity. UofL Athletics Director Vince Tyre says that may look different from the car dealership sponsorships and autograph sales in this digital age. They think about Instagram posts and followings and being able to you know, get a product that they can market and has a discount code and that discount code is when it's used triggers a commission for them. And they're they're pretty thoughtful about where their opportunities may lie. Now, even with the NCAA approving a temporary policy, we're still likely some time away from seeing any federal legislation in this matter. Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.